Policing is on the rise and smaller communities are having trouble keeping up. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Brock Burgey. And I'm Caitlin Alexander. Goodhue County recently approved new prices for the five communities that contract law enforcement through the sheriff's office. This after the county received pushback over the original price hike. KDDC's Olivia Pronzinski learned more about this today and what's next for the partnerships. Olivia. Elchester and Denison have three-year contracts with the Goohoo County Sheriff's Office. Pine Island's Mayor David Fries says when it came time to renegotiate, the city was given a nearly 50 percent increase. After a long process, the cities and county were finally able to come to an agreement. When it came time to renew Pine Island's long-standing policing partnership with Goodhue County Sheriff's Office, David Fries knew the new rates were going to burden taxpayers. It was uh, a long a long process. Pine Island currently pays $58 an hour for the Sheriff's Office's services. The county originally proposed a new rate of $87 an hour, a nearly 50% increase. We know uh, law enforcement is going to cost money, but what we needed to do is look at how we could bring those numbers into our budget. Why the steep increase? Chief Deputy Jonathan Hunnicky explains since 2020, Minnesota law enforcement is required to have more technology like body cameras and wage expectations have gone up. That's the expectation now. So that expectation though comes with a very large cost. After months of negotiations, the county board and contracting cities were able to come to an agreement of $71 an hour, with increases spread out over three years to ease the burden on taxpayers. And we're very appreciative that uh, the sheriff was willing to help support us in addressing our concerns to the county board. The cities now need to approve the new contracts to start in 2025. If a city chooses not to renew, it will receive law enforcement services for emergencies, but regular community patrols will no longer be part of the deal. But we're here to provide the best service we can. Our cities that we do provide uh, contract services for and keep up the good relationships we feel that we have with them. All five contracting cities are now being asked to pay the same price of $71 an hour, but can choose how many hours it wants to pay for. Live in the studio, Olivia Pranzinski, Kate Steele.